Good morning. We're back in Middle Earth and we're getting a bit of a late start. So, it seems that between some internet blips and the fact that Lothar decided not to give Fistula some love this morning, she ended up stuck in loading you-know-what for some time. But I did not let that stop me from gearing her up. And now she has a whole nice shiny new set of gear. And she even has a few potions again. And a little bit of food. So, we did not like the way that spring instance went the last time. We did not like that at all. Now look at these guys. Wee Bonnie, wee Laddie, wee Billy, wee Lassie. Huh. All right, so we're going to give this instance another shot. Now that we have proper gear, let's see if we can do a little better. So I'm back into B's big business. Hello, Bjorn. I'm back again. Well, I see you're here. Get to work. Okay. We will do that. We'll get right on that. Okay? Okay. Now, because I want to, and because I can, we're going to eat a little food first. And we're also going to slot our potions so I'm not fumbling around in a bag looking for them if I need them. We're also going to take these off there. Alright, so potions, potions, potions. And we'll get the little ones and we'll put a space between them. Because the big ones were a little harder to make. And I don't want to use them unless I really absolutely have to. All right, all right, bees, let's get going. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, we'll follow you. We'll pick the flowers later. That way we don't lose track of you because we have goats incoming. Oh, you little stinker. Well, y'all not going to find me so easy to fight this time. Alright, come on, bees. We're doing this. Okay, so while the bees are doing their thing, I'm going to go find this other pesky pest. Hello, Mr. Wasp. I am back for round two. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick a few of our flowers while we're here. Yeah, a little bit laggy lag there. Like I said, had, had some internet blips today. Of course, I don't know if all of that was 
on me or some of it was on Lotro considering for a good half hour or so Fistula would not log in at all and apparently this is an old problem because uh, I saw forum posts back to 2010 that uh, talked about this problem and it was uh, kind of strange because I would see her on the loading screen but she would be naked and what she is obviously not and I would go to log in and it would just sit there and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and not log in at all so it took us a while to get over that I guess for some reason maybe the game thought that she was still logged in or something of that type and refused to log her in okay i've already lost the bees isn't that wonderful okay here's the okay here's the river and if we just go back up this way we should run across the flag eventually there it is. I see it. All right. Um. Okay. More flowers. Okay. I gotta pause for a quick minute. Okay. So we're back. And let's continue. How many flowers do I have now? I have half of them. Oh, there's the banner. Do I have any more close by that I can get? See, I don't feel like running all over the place and losing the bees again. For flowers. And constantly running into those walls. So. We're halfway done. With the flowers, that is. Alright, bees. Are you ready to get back to buzz, buzz, buzz? Huh? Are you all ready to get back to buzz, buzz, buzz? Okay. Get to work. And I will follow you. Oh. Goats. grab these flowers real quick come back here you do I not have a speed skill for running I don't think I do Okay. I'll have to remember there's some flowers back this way. Another thing I didn't realize when I started the instance last time was that I had not yet chosen a trait tree for her. So, we went ahead and did that. And she is in the red tree. We have a red tree, you have a blue tree, and there's not really a yellow tree, which is kind of weird. But there are yellow tree skills that either red or blue can of course put points into to enhance whatever their build is now right now i have three points in red 
and actually two points in blue because when you select something in a in the trait tree you're not in it costs twice as many points so I actually went ahead and put one into vitality increase one into first strike and two into set up attack damage and since i'm you know the brawler is obviously new i don't know if this is a good build but we're going to find out there is no way i was going to turn down the extra xp for the character or not the XP morale hit points and okay we have all our flowers the bees are waiting for us so let's get going the bees have pollinated the second glade awesome good to know Y'all are still the size of a small Mack truck. It would be nice if you actually helped me fight things. I mean, these goats shouldn't be able to get your goat. Haha. Okay, why don't you put a fear effect on me? Eh, not really. I'm not really scared. Woohoo! Getting thrown around. <laughs> Alright, come on bees. Where are we going? Two rare lilies. These flowers must be protected at all costs. Alright, where are the goats coming from? Okay. Uh, it's the little tiny goat that knocks us out. That's funny. Okay, round two. More goats are coming. It seems like all the goats come from the front direction when you're uh, doing this solo. When you're not doing this solo, they come from all sorts of different directions. Which is also something good to know. Huh. I got thrown and stunned. Get away from that flower. for Papa Goat to come. I'm just like basically attacking his knees. I mean. And hooray. This has been a much better run than last time and just goes to prove that having good gear really does make a huge difference.
So if you really want to give yourself the extra challenge, well, you know. Well, you know what to do. Use the crap gear. But if you want to give yourself the best advantage possible, it's definitely worth it to either learn how to craft and craft gear or find the gear on the auction house or find somebody in world chat who is willing to make it. What took you so long? It didn't even take me nearly as long as it took last time, dude. All right, hooray. Now, we have, let's see, what do we have? Do we get special tokens from that? Festivity tokens, we have 10 of them. Now, I don't think there's a festivity vendor here in Bree. So, we're going to have to head over to the Shire. And I would do that via a port, except, well, my port is in a little delving. It would take me longer to do it that way than it would just to hit the stable to nickel delving. Oh, no, not that horse. We don't want to go back to the festival field. We want to go to the Shire. And, no, I don't think you, uh, update 33 is out yet. I'm really looking forward to that because I want to see the Yonder Shire. I'm definitely taking her to the Yonder Shire. Oh, do you do? All right. The King's Company is now recruiting all Rohirrim role players, no level requirement. Our band is in Eriador looking for our missing captain, Eofred, who was sent here by Grimma's Treachery. Where did it go? Oh, I lost it. So, I was trying to read See if I can find it here. Nope. Well, there was an interesting looking role-playing kinship ad, but it disappeared. And I do not see it, but it's a Rohirrim kin, so I don't know if they take other races other than men, or if uh, they take other men kind but Rohirrim, but sounded interesting. And now there's some sort of name calling going on in uh Wow, somebody really wants to get banned. They're just sitting there making fun of role players. How about you just ignore them and go about your day? They're not doing anything to you. They're having fun. Call them. You're the one trying to offend me. I just enjoy the S talk. Yeah. Um, maybe you want to 
Wow. Okay, insulting much. Greetings, friend. All right, so this is actually where we can trade festival tokens. And I don't see the other... I don't see the other vendor. Where are they? Oh, boy. So we have spring tokens. We can trade our fall tokens for some spring tokens. I don't think we get that many. Oh, well, we'll find out. We'll trade one in. For some reason, being here in the Shire is causing more lag. Six tokens. Wow, we have to take spend 20 fall tokens to get six spring tokens. Well, I won't be doing that again. That was a little pricey. But, let me double check, because usually there is a vendor here that's the dance leader. That's, I have no idea what that quest is. Of course, there's our outspring reward vendor. No. Lovely day, isn't it? No, that's just where we get cosmetics and pets from. Speaking of pets. Cosmetic pets. We got the donkey. There's also a rabbit. We should get the rabbit. There's actually quite a few. We, even disregarding the shrews. You have a couple of kites. Kites are... The moth kite is pretty. I will probably be getting that. A hedgehog's kind of cute. The pheasants are neat. The, uh, obviously, rabbits are cute. The goose is actually not that bad looking, although the feather texture looks like a five-year-old scribbled all over it. Just saying. <laughs> it's more something I would do for my illustrations for Redbubble than I would expect to see here. So what do we want? We definitely want a bunny. Okay, so we're going to get the bunny. And we want the kite yet. We want the hedgehog. I don't think we want the other festival steed, do we? The elk. It just doesn't seem to suit her. It's pretty, but it just doesn't seem to suit her. Maybe if we get some more tokens before the end of the festival, we'll decide. So where were the pets? Oh, there is all sorts of housing items. But most of them have been here, like these burning sconces. They're nice. The gammer's bed is nice. The coffee table's actually kind of nice, too. It's kind of a little, kind of a little, well, you know, a serving tray with legs. But it works. The trinket stand you could put stuff on top of, like vases. Then you have different hedge sculptures. You have the Moria keg, which kind of a requirement of being able to use that is you, you're it. You've at least gotten into Moria. There's clover table and clover stools, which kind of reminds me more of St. Patrick's Day. Which makes sense since the festival started on St. Patrick's Day have a shrew portrait, which I have no idea why anybody would want that. These, these hanging pots of ivy are really nice. All they do, they do slot where chandeliers and lights would go. The tiered planters are nice. The shrew mouse house is really cute. 
you put that down and it's like it looks like a little elven house and you click on it and a pair of little shrews come out so that's cute and then you have a bunch of maps like map of the old forest map of our chat Bree town and a numinous then you have these stone floors which are all right I'll have to get my dwarves on that so that they can get those for their house. Even though, well, the house is just there for extra storage. But, you know. Here were the pets. Cosmetic pets. So we got the bunny. And I do think we want to get, where is it? The hedgehog. And then we have just enough, if we want, we can get the moth kite right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. We get off our horse. Get those done. Get them organized because if I don't do this periodically, it's just a total mess. Bunny, hedgehog, and kite. We'll put the kite up here. So. Eight seconds. First strike. Should probably move that all the way to the front of the line. seconds 30 seconds switch that around 15 seconds oops switch that around all right that should be a little better okay now kite let's see of course we can't see see it because she's so short and it's up so tall sometimes if you redo that it'll come back shorter or you can kind of see it now like I said, it's a pretty kite. And it actually looks very much like a moth. So, that's that. We'll switch it out. Here's our little hedgehog. His default name is Oliver. Uh, we like to be goofy, though, so... If you ever want to rename a cosmetic pet, it is Slash C Pet rename and then whatever name you want to give it although be forewarned that there are names that the game will reject but it will not reject that one i've already done this once so his name is now sonic he is sonic the hedgehog and he's actually a rather cute little hedgehog all right, so now let's look at our bunny, which is Peter Rabbit. I honestly think I'm going to leave that name because that is already pretty iconic. And he's a cute little gray rabbit. Okay, we'll put that away. And... That still does not answer the burning question. Where is the vendor for the instances? Although we did happily spend all of our festival tokens just now.
Hmm. Did I miss one at the brief festival? Now I'm going to have to go look for them. Well. Let's try. Hello there. I don't think they would be in the Elven. Pretty sure I didn't see one in Duland. Trying to think if I saw anything that might have been conceivably one in Thorns Hall. I don't think so. Of course, if I wasn't looking for them, I could have very easily missed it. So I guess we'll check out Thorns Hall next. But usually where that one vendor is where we exchange tokens for other tokens... That instance vendor would be right there. Some place else I haven't checked is the Boar Fountain in Bree. Guess we could check there too. Now, if we don't find it at Thorns Hall or at the Boar Fountain or at back at the uh, Bree Festival site, then. I guess we're not going to find it, and we'll stop for the day. Let's see. Let me look at the map. Nope. They haven't added it yet. Yeah, I don't think we're even going to see that on the map until... A lovely day, isn't it? I don't think we're going to see that on the map until the update 33 goes live. But, you know, it didn't hurt to look. And if you just can't wait until update 33 goes live to see what it looks like, then um, I will link Louis Seven's video. He has, what, what, hold on. He has a Yondershire beta video where he rides around in Yondershire on the beta server and kind of goes over and shows some of it. So I will link his video in the description box. So if you absolutely have to see it, you can go look. I saw bits of it while I was playing, but I didn't see too much of it. Greetings, traveler. Oh, I don't Will need you stay that a moment? That's the L Association founder, the L Association tavern keep. This is what I was talking about where you deliver or you pick up and deliver Bruise and the L Association has a set and the In League has a set. And there is actually a, a very good tight routine for doing that. That um, you can get it all done within Greetings, the time limit. Okay, not in here. That's a spring reward vendor. Not what we're looking for. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, back to Bree. Yuck, end game. I don't know what's yuck about it. It's just end game. I guess people do have different tastes. I mean, for Lost Ark, I've been taking it what do you slow want? and easy. Oh. And this here is actually a crafting hall. 
People forget that it exists. Because you can do most of your crafting inside Thorin's Hall. But, yeah. That's a crafting hall, too. Alright, so. Check at the fountain. And then go and check back at the Bree Festival grounds again. And if we don't find this vendor in either place, then I guess we're done. But we were quite successful in our second go at the instance. And we got a couple of brand new pets. And a kite. Very nice looking kite. And a whole new set of gear, so she'll be set for a little while. Okay, VIP rewards, we know what that is. We don't even... You know, after the first time I, I looked at those with Medtrail, I never did get them again, because I never used them. Moats gear, pigments, cosmetics, rotating... Oh, rotating cosmetics? How may I help you today? Okay, what do you have? Trousers of the Heartwood. Jacket of the Heartwood. Cap of the Heartwood. Oh, yeah, that, that set. It, it's made to look kind of like a um, set of lumberjack gear. Because you've got your red plaid top. You've got your red plaid hat with the flaps. And let's see what the pants look like. And they're just basic brown leather pants, but it does not look very good on her, does it? <laughs> Got formal riding wear, elegant riding wear, cloaks. And you've got a few co um, housing items for rugs. A maypole. I wonder what that does. I don't know. Pheasant wall trophy. A sporting steed. A steed with minimal trappings, perfect for navigating dense forests and jumping obstacles. Oh, if I wasn't trying to save up my figments, I would probably hunting steed. A steed with minimal trappings, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We have a, we can get a stag, a white fawn. Well, that would be pretty. A decorated goose. <laughs> a smoky gray cat. Oh, I like that. A flying fox. Uh, okay. A husky wolf dog. So there's a lot of different, like, steeds and pets you can get in here. And he, she is the traveling quartermaster so she comes and goes and she usually brings different stuff at different times i am very very tempted to get the cat <laughs> because of course i am she only has one cat she only has a black cat right now we'll think about it it's not what we're looking for Uriah, oh, this guy here. If you're doing the flower quest, Good which day. we'll do that next time, you can take your flowers and turn them in here and get different things. Whoa, whoa, they've changed it. It used to be you got boxes. Oh, there's the boxes. So you get these boxes and you open them up and get random things. Co cosmetic items, dyes recipes, etc. But you can also get the Steed of the Jester, which is actually kind of an interesting horse, but it jingles a lot. And you can get a halter and saddle. So that's for picking flowers. Still not what we were looking for.
And these are for instances. Moat and Ember Craft Trader. A mo quartermaster who deals in moats and enchantment gear. Dark skies, dark tidings. Which is, of course, armor and jewelry and stuff. All right. So we didn't see anything there. Back to the festival grounds. Bring provisioner. What do you have? Greetings, friend. Ah, drinks. We got pear, blossom wine, root knot cider, spring ale, spring fern beer, spring Perry's porter. A couple of different uh, food items. Which the only thing this character could use is this squash. But you know what? We're going to grab some of the spring sausage because we know she'll eventually get to level 20. Uh, but we probably should be careful how many we get because I just realized she has no money on her. That is something else we're going to have to fix. Spring Reward Vendor. Hobbit. Which is, this is what this guy was complaining about. These hobbits that are hanging out here and performing. And these people that are hanging out here and performing. And like I said, if he doesn't like it, he can just ignore it. They're not hurting anybody. They're just role playing. Bring, oh, so you did move over here, and I totally missed you because I was too busy looking at these guys performing. So, we, what does she have? She has a lot of stuff, but I can't afford much of any of it because I only have 10 tokens so far. And some of this stuff is 30 tokens. And the kicker is that it takes... The maximum you tokens you can hold at any one time is 40. Now, we have a vine dress. This is Noruhel, Noruhel. I cannot remember how to pronounce her name, but she is the red maid from the Lone Lands. So you can get her dress, you can get her shawl, her crown, and her vines, which kind of like gloves, They're but it's just vines going down the arms. It is actually a nice looking cosmetic set, but you're doing a lot of these instances to get the whole set, because altogether it's 120 of the spring instance tokens. But... The thing is, you can do that twice each day, once solo, and once in a group. So you can get 10 tokens a day, so it is conceivable if you did it 12 days in a row, you would have enough to get those. Not everybody feels like doing that, though. Now, there's a goat here. A goat. I only need to do that three more times. Oh, I'm getting a goat. Okay. Goats are important when you hit Moria. And now that I think about it, I don't think Medriel has a goat. So I guess I'm going to have to get her hiney over here to do this. Actually, I can do it from the field. 
and then get her hiney over here to collect it. Well, so we have flower banners. Gamgee's Gammer's Best Hall Bench. Gammer's Best Armchair. Gammer's Tea Table. Ooh. If I wasn't going to get this one a goat, I would probably get the tea table. There's a footstool, there's a couch, a couch for tall visitors, a small footstool, a hall table. There is quite a number of things that you can barter for for this from the festivity token vendor. And the spring stuff is particularly nice, but like I said, uh, I think the main goal for this is that goat, especially for Medriel. So, I think we've pretty much looked at everything any of the vendors for the Spring Festival have. And I'm very pleased that the second run of that instance went so well. So, with all that being said, next time, I'm not sure what we're doing next time. But I'm sure it'll be interesting. And until then, bye for now.